Here's a big fish. Here we find ourselves running a river to get to a new pike lodge with my daughter Carly that I've never fished before. Cree River Lodge in the far northern part of Saskatchewan, situated on pristine Wapata Lake. Now those of you who know me are well aware of the fact that there aren't very many top shelf pike fisheries out there that I haven't fished at one time or another in my life. So I'm really excited to check out the pretty amazing claims about this fishery, which I first heard about and saw evidence of at the Harrisburg Sports Show from lodge owner Pat Babcock. When I looked at their Cree River Lodge website later, I immediately read, Cree River is the pike capital of the world. I also saw a very impressive gallery of big pike photos like Pat had already shared with me at that sports show, so needless to say, I was very intrigued. But pike capital of the world? Can our experiences of the coming days bear such a statement out in the mind of an old pike charmer like me who's about seen it all? Well, why don't we just see, huh? Well, we're up at Cree River Lodge after a day and a half traveling, and there's a lot of big pike. They catch pike to 50 inches, which is the primary thing we're here for. Carly is, is with me. She's on her way down right now, and uh, God willing, she's going to catch several of her first gigantic pike, over 25 pounds of her life. So come along and watch. The plan was to simply cruise the Cree River, looking for isolated areas of weeds where I knew any big summertime pike would be sticking to like glue. And you went under the boat this way. Then in and around those weed beds, particularly if there was deeper water, we'd whip big spoons to see if anybody was home. And boy, oh boy, right from the very start were they ever. Oh my god! <laughs> that scared me so much. <laughs> well, I guess he's gonna pull our boat. <laughs> the, the one thing about Cree River Lodge is you, you never miss a day of fishing. That's a gator, Carly. Keep it on him. She's green yet. Thanks, nice Pike. It's not a big lake. Uh, weather, it doesn't matter. We're fishing. There's no missing days at all. And great fishing. It's not just going fishing behind the island. We're fishing and we're catching monster pike. I just love that. I mean, it's just boom. The fishery, you've got uh, lots of, lots of uh, large northern pike. Big heavy fish. You know, you got a real good chance of a, of a 45 plus northern. Wait till you see the girth on this puppy. You know, up to 50. 52 is the biggest one that we've got on the lake since I've owned it for the last nine years. But look at the gut on this thing. Carly, look at this. Look at how deep that is. Look at the belly. You're average fish. You're, you're, you're dealing with some real good fish here. Yeah, you, oh! Okay, you're welcome. Boy, that was a big fat fish. Lots of 30, 30 to 40 inch fish. Pretty close to 40 inch fish. You're catching lots. Nice one. So you're catching, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80 a day. Nice fish, good job. It all depends on what kind of fisherman you are. And a lot of real nice sized pike. I mean, that's a good, healthy, heavy pike. You got a real good chance of a 45. I'm losing calories how fast my heart is feeling right now. After a super long day of traveling, I was so tired, but the minute that huge, huge, huge pike with a red fin came up and took my bait, everything just went away. So what do you think of pike fishing so far, loves? It's very fun, very scary, so very excited. <laughs> but I was so into it, it was like a hunt for a wolf. That's my daughter here. That's my girl. You're so aggressive with it. You want to make sure you do everything right. Don't go there, don't go there. Go there you're doing again. good, honey. I knew you would. So if you don't, you're going to lose the chance of a lifetime. Oh my God, what is Holy that? Holy cow, Holy. Carly. Like this? 
I can't. Where did you really see this thing? I'm so sweaty. <laughs> no, 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 don't leave. Oh, that is a toad, Carly. Why is it red? Is it, it what it's supposed to be? You ready? You ready? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now what's your heart doing? My stomach hurts. Oh my god. Look that, at that thing. I could eat like seven fixes. <laughs> Look at the size of the head on that thing, Carly. All right. We got a half a day in. How many fish do you think we caught over 35 inches, Carly? The biggest, about 45 inches. Had another one up like that. Um, just a bunch of fish. And we just got started. We didn't even leave camp until about 3 o'clock this afternoon. I'd say a pretty good few hours. Once it's doubled, you just tie improved clinch knot. Continuing now at Cree River Lodge in Saskatchewan, mega-sized pike are most definitely on the prowl and holding to weed beds in a depth range of say three to ten feet. Big, fat, healthy fish. No, I mean not a real big fish, but just real good shape. You not only got good forage here, you got good genetics. Carly and I are casting big spoons and varying our retrieves in hopes of triggering strikes. But due to lack of water clarity, this is not a spot and stock mission for pike at all. Oh. Carly, right over to the top here. I moved one before. Right up over that way. And it had a wake behind it. He's seen the wake too. On the other hand, when we do spot following fish, the key is dropping the spoon back and making it dance. Make those fish at it. He piled on it. When those big pike are close like that, very often that's the way to entice a hit, by imitating wounded prey that's trying to get away. There we go. Okay. It could be a pretty nice fish, huh? Um, I never got a good look, but... I didn't either. There was a great job on the jig. Yeah, I think it's not too bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, like, oh, big God. fish. I thought it was like a little itty bitty yeah. one. <laughs> Let him go. Oh no, he's good. She's getting yeah. to kind of be a seasoned veteran now and a little complacent. That was a pretty nice fish. Thank you. The more weed beds we find, the more we find new pods of fish to yank out from within them. Every once in a while I did switch to a bucktail, but in all honesty, those toothy predators seem much, much more attracted to big flashy spoons. In case you're wondering what we're doing here, we got a great big shallow bay, and these big pike will run around in places like this, like a pack of wolves will, just covering ground. But it's so big and so massive that casting it takes so much time, so we're gonna try and troll it a section here all we're looking to do is make contact with the fish. If we can make contact with one big fish, there's a very good chance that where that big fish is, there's others. Then we're gonna stop and cast it and really work it. Well, I was in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania last year for the show there, and uh, working out of the Ontario booth, signed an autograph from right across from me with Cree River Lodge. Still pulling line. This is a big fish. Generally, you meet somebody at a sports show, uh, and a lot of the guys stretch things a little bit or exaggerate a little bit or they're so proud of what they have. I mean, they remember only the good times and, and this, that, and the other. She's still pulling line. Yeah. When we got up here, the, the fishing was so much better than he told me that it was. I mean, I've been chasing big pike for 45 years. Big, big fish. Oh, whoa. Look at this puppy, Carly. This is big fish. This is our biggest fish so far. The back, the head, the, the girth, the everything. It was way beyond my expectations. Powerful, God. Look at the bend in this rod. And I can put a lot of fight back into a fish. Oh. Oh, she's beautiful. Mo Gator.
Oh. Carly, have you seen this? Dra grab your cell phone, maybe. Yep. Whoa! Look at the size of this thing. Talk about a great start. It's already getting tough to count the number of big pike we're catching and releasing. It just could be that any skepticism I may have had about this place could have been seriously misplaced. Really big. <laughs> oh, are you a beauty. Ready to go? Yep, you are. That is fun. You can't believe the power. That fish was 26 or 27 pounds. I mean, big, heavy shoulders, big everything. And hit like a freight train. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Sure. <laughs> there you are, girl. All right, back up to Saskatchewan, where we've been seeing some of the most ferocious big pike action I've ever witnessed, which is a pretty big statement for me to make. Look at her tail. I know. She's got a big chomp out of her tail. Some fisheries, like the Cree River, just have the right mix of forage, size, and available cover to keep kicking out monster fish year after year. Nice fish, Carly. All I know so far is that this river system most certainly seems to provide it all, because wherever we search, the big pike just keep coming unglued. It's like a big old gator. They are. God, I love them. There's nothing in fresh water as good as big pike fishing, in my opinion. Particularly when you can see them come out like I just did that great big one and this one. When Dad told me that we were gonna come up here and go on a big pike trip, I didn't know what to expect. I had never, ever, ever been on a pike trip. I've caught in a couple of them where I'm reeling in a walleye and a big pike comes up and snatches him and I scream and freak out because it's like a sea monster. But I've never went specifically for big pike. Beautiful fish. So my expectations were sort of all over the place. Is it going to be a sea monster? Is it going to be this huge, monstrous, toothy thing coming up? Is it just going to be a regular fish and I'm just scared? Or what it was going to be? Catch him, Carly. There you go. Oh, was that weeds or fish? That was a fish. But overall, like, when we came out at the end of it, it was exceeding every expectation I could have ever had. Tell me that's a hog. Oh, it, it is. My daughter, Carly, She's a hammer. I mean, she did it so perfectly. Yes. The fish missed the bait, she dropped it back. She just automatically, instinctively uh -oh. knows what to do. And I just sat back and watched in awe. There's that technique again. Oh! Yep. I just watched that mouth come up and gulp the spinnerbait. There, look at this. This is a big dog, big dog. Where? That one? Yeah. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. First double header of big fish, Carly. It's a big fish. I watched the mouth come up. I was running that spinnerbait right under the surface. I just watched the mouth come up. Whoa. She's got a big fish too. Yeah. Go ahead and get her first. Barely on there. It's a big, heavy fish here. Oh, look at how fat this fish is. Look at how big that fish is. Look Whoa! At his, look at his tail. That's a beauty. Look at, look at how deep that fish is. Um, no, hang on, on, on to a second. You want to see something? <laughs> well, there goes 20 some pounds of pike straight in the air. I wanted to catch, the, bring the fish in and hold them up side by side, but that's all right. We were going to release them anyway. Wasn't that cool? Did you see that big hog come up? I mean, that was a big fish. That was 20 some pounds. Oh, easy. Oh, Carly's got another big one. There was these two following that one, and they both swam off to the right. 
quite the place up here. If you're looking for a good pike adventure, place with a lot of big fish uh, and a lot to fish, I mean, tremendous amount to fish. Whoa! Holy buckets, Carly. One after another. This is a good spot, Cree River. You know, when people ask me about my favorite fish, I always decline to name any single one because to me, my love of fish is relative to all kinds of different things I like about any given species. But I will say this about pike, I mean the really, really big ones. I've spent more time and money going after them than probably any other single fish. There's nothing in fresh water as good as big pike fishing. When I set that hook and feel that heavy weight, it causes a stir in me that's unexplainable. And when I hold one in my hands and my heart pounds so hard sometimes I think it's gonna jump right out of my chest, it's just nuts. I do dearly love monster pike, I'm not gonna lie. Which is why I hope my daughter Carly catches on to the same passion that's meant so much to me. It's awesome watching her catch on to the game of pike fishing and proving her own ability. And unless I miss my guess, which I seriously doubt, when it comes to pike fishing like this, she's becoming a lot more like her old man than I think even she cares to admit. I mean, try battling as many pike over 40 inches like we did in the day and a half of pike fishing you've seen today, and I can promise you, you'll know what I mean. But you still haven't seen the next half of it yet. <laughs> Big fish. Maybe over 48. Next week, we'll share part two of the second half of our pike and walleye fishing adventure at Cree River Lodge. Two casts in the spot you said there's walleyes at. And two real nice fish. You absolutely must tune in to see what happens. It's huge. In our final 15 minutes on the water before our trip finally comes to a close. I just got the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Because yes, we were right back where we caught that other gargantuan fish. There this thing is huge. That's a good fish. Now for those of you interested in booking your own pike party at Cree River Lodge, and I suggest you do it sooner rather than later, here's all the information you'll need to get your plan started. If seeing is believing, my friends, then I couldn't urge you to take advantage of this spot more strongly. So I guess, cheers to the Pike Gods for smiling down on Carly and I so fondly while up at Cree River Lodge last August. Now, I'm not saying either of us deserve such an incredible adventure, but I'm sure thankful that they seem to think we did. <laughs> I'm Babe Winkleman. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, everybody, hey, good fishing.